Tell us about Ecotourism Australia, please. Uh, Charlie, about 16 years ago, there were a group of passionate um, tourism individuals working particularly in the nature-based sector uh, in Australia that felt there needed to be um, an organisation put together to provide leadership and uh, also to develop a best practice framework for the industry. Uh, that occurred back in 1991. And um, some two to three years later, uh, the organisation then commenced work on developing what we now know as our eco certification program. So um, we, we have an organisation that's developed um, as the lead industry organisation generally in Australia and of course we undertake many different functions as a, a non-profit membership based organisation um, ranging from working with state and local governments, um, servicing our membership base um, and also undertaking marketing initiatives on, on, the, on behalf of our sector. But all that work has been underpinned and something that's worked wonderfully well for us over the last 12 years since we've developed the Eco Certification Program is that we've developed the program in such a way that it offers what we call a genuine triple bottom line approach where we haven't simply gone out um, and taken a radical green approach where we've said here is a very strict environmental um, criteria which we want the industry to abide by per se. We've taken a very sensible uh, approach where we've developed our eco program in such a way that it gives the um, tourism operator, whether it be an accommodations, uh, cruise, uh, tour operator or an attractions uh, operation, um, the opportunity to take up our program to provide um, a way for them to move forward um, in continual improvement best practice um, framework and it provides them a very sound um, blueprint, I guess, um, to advance their business into a, a, a framework which offers very good support in the area of economic sustainability criteria uh, and uh, also in the environmental sustainability criteria and then thirdly in the social and cultural sustainability criteria. Um, we currently have just under 1,000 um, certified products uh, in Australia now and we're seeing a growth of um, average incremental growth at the moment of about 20%. Now that is um, due, I think, to the flow on effect from um, the fact that we have taken the program online. Um, success factor that's worth a mention um, that we've spent a lot of time developing in Australia is adding value to the program um, by creating partnerships, particularly with protected area managers, where we've negotiated with um, particular national parks managers to provide um, exclusive access or longer permits to operate in natural areas. Uh, an example of that uh, that I can give you which um, we've had in place now for about two years is with the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. Um, any marine operator operating on the Great Barrier Reef um, with the ecotourism or advanced level of our certification um, has the right to then apply to Gabumpa for a 15 year. Um, extended permit. So for a large operation, obviously for infrastructure planning, it's a, it's a big advantage. Around about 45% approximately um, of our eco operators uh, are, tour, are, are tour operators. Hmm. Um, there would be, um, um, and then about another 40-45% accommodations. Uh, the majority of the operators that um, are in, uh, committed to our eco certification program are certainly coming from the smaller end of the industry. Um, however, in saying that, it's also very important for us to be really ensuring that some of the larger operators are participating in our program and, and, and being part of the solution that we're you know, working so hard to achieve in Australia. And how much does it cost for certification? Is that based on size? Um, it ranges on the turnover of the business. And um, the way we rank it is uh, from zero to 250,000 turnover per year. That's gross turnover. And then it goes up from there um, to, to 250 to 500,000 and so forth, up to 10 million plus. So even in the 10 million plus category, um, a, a large tour, tourism operator turning over 10 million or more, um, they're paying around about $980 a year annual fees, which is very, very reasonable. And in saying that, um, uh, an interesting point about our certification program is from, from my own observations, um, I believe we are one of the very few certification programs in the world uh, that is sustainable in itself. Um, we don't rely upon any external funding. 
uh, to run the program and uh, the Ego Certification Program does cover its own costs so it's a sustainable program in itself, it's, uh, it's a good thing.